Many travelers start their journeys not in airports or train stations, but at OTAs. Online travel agencies first appeared in the 90s and since then dictated the way travel businesses are run. Flights, hotels, holiday homes, car rentals, cruises, attractions. The whole itinerary can be planned on websites such as Booking.com, Expedia, Ctrip, and more. Sometimes, with the help of meta search engines like Kayak, Skyscanner, and Google Flights, aggregators of offers and prices from a variety of OTAs and suppliers. Technology, specifically AI, made these businesses synonymous with the travel planning experience. Here are six ways OTAs and meta search websites use artificial intelligence. Let's start with one of the ways OTAs make trip planning easier, recommendation engines. Trip planning is a stressful undertaking. That's why customers gravitate to OTAs and meta search sites for the ultimate convenience of comparing and choosing amid myriad travel options. But often, too many choices can be worse than too few. And in travel, this is extremely complicated because ordering a book versus deciding on which property you're going to book in Rome, mm -hmm. which you have 8,000 choices, right? To find the best choice for that specific customer. That's why recommendation engines are the bread and butter of OTAs. eDreams Odigio, a European online travel group owning five OTAs, reported that after implementing AI into their search engines, three quarters of users ordered the first option recommended to them via search. Using data points from the user's previous bookings and Odigio's 1.7 billion monthly searches, their machine learning algorithms make predictions on which listing the user will most enjoy. Expedia, Airbnb, Hotels.com, and many more apply the same technique every time you run the search. Another handy AI-driven feature in OTAs is price prediction. Flight prices change all the time, and often not in your favor. Here's how it works. Airlines divide all aircraft seats into groups, buckets, with different price tags. But at any given moment, only a few buckets will remain open, depending on the current demand. Generally, prices are lower many months in advance, and they rise closer to the departure, but there may be other factors in play. Airlines use complex analytics to run their dynamic pricing strategies, so you can assume that there's no way for the ordinary traveler to know whether they should wait or grab tickets right away. And that's where price prediction tools step in. Meta search engine Google Flights has a price graph tool that lets passengers see how good of a deal they're getting by booking on a specific date. By using historic and real-time data about airlines, dates of journeys, departure and destination cities, departure times, route, and more, an algorithm generates price forecasts to help travelers make buying decisions. Another example is Hopper, a mobile-based OTA. Hopper uses machine learning to monitor flight and hotel prices and notifies you whether to book immediately or wait a bit longer. They do this by using historic and real-time flight information to anticipate the changes in demand, by analyzing jet fuel prices and search queries at other OTAs and meta search sites. Every day we archive prices from all across the web, from all across the world. Up to date, we have five years of historical data and up to 50 trillion price itineraries. OTAs and meta search engines also employ AI for internal tasks for example, in a commission engine. Online travel agencies make money by charging their suppliers commissions, but to ensure that they're offering better prices than the competitor, they need to constantly adjust commissions. How? Typically by establishing some rules. For example, if they expect higher demand, they could raise a commission or make it lower for specific suppliers that offer extra good base rates. There can be hundreds of such rules and they should be updated as OTAs change their strategies or introduce new suppliers. As you might have guessed, this complex work can also be done by AI. For instance, you can forecast when the demand will rise or fall down, and then you can adjust it to your rules to take advantage of these changes. Or you can try predicting the commission sizes themselves that are competitive but generate enough revenue. Although this is done in the background, commission manipulations are extremely important for OTA success. Another complicated task OTAs have to perform is hotel mapping. OTAs are huge, 
complex systems working with massive inventories which they receive from many sources. Some are acquired in bulk from wholesalers, others are integrated from other, typically bigger OTAs, and of course, some are listed on the website by business owners. So it happens quite often that the same hotel appears in the inventory multiple times. If one supplier calls uh, a, a Hilton in Paris, Hilton Paris, another supplier might call it, you know, a Paris Hilton. Um, and a third supplier now uh, may call it uh, Hilton Deluxe or whatever. The process of fixing these discrepancies is known as mapping. Formerly done manually, now hotel mapping is often performed by AI, using natural language processing that can make sense of text, the same way we humans do, in deep learning algorithms. Hotel mapping tools merge inconsistently named properties from different sources into one to avoid duplication. Next, travel websites dedicate a lot of effort to the development of virtual agents. At the start of 2020, Trip.com Group, one of the world's largest travel companies with 400 million users across all of its brands, received 10 times more customer requests than pre-pandemic. This surge of troubled customers provoked the company to rapidly upgrade its automatic chatbot. For once, they used an AI algorithm to prioritize the most pressing questions and identify the trending information to then automatically upgrade the frequently asked section. Expedia also responded to the travel crisis by launching an intelligent assistant for both travelers and partner travel agents. Using machine learning, virtual agents can answer straightforward questions and consider travelers' past actions. Expedia says that 45% of travelers have used the tool to cancel the trip and 20% used it to view their bookings. Conversational AI is one of the trickiest to create, so don't expect any of these customer service chatbots to follow an intellectual conversation. Perhaps we need a few more years to fully flesh out this concept. Finally, let's cover an innovative feature of virtual interlining. Sometimes the only way to reach your destination is by taking a multi-leg flight. Most of them are made possible by agreements between airlines where one leg of the journey is operated by, say, American, while the other leg is operated by Alaska. But sometimes there's no existing connection, so you have to manually book separate tickets. This, of course, is very inconvenient. So, in 2012, the Czech startup Kiwi.com introduced the idea of virtual interlining. They developed a machine learning algorithm that automatically combines flights, even if their airlines don't work together, thus providing unique flight combinations, automatically finding the cheapest and fastest route. The idea caught on, and now different technology companies offer virtual interlining features to OTAs and meta search engines. We will likely see more OTAs create custom flight combinations in the upcoming years. Uh, we'll see travelers who have the opportunity to create and plan their own stopovers. I think we'll see the multimodal solutions where you're combining rail, where you're combining bus. OTAs are in a unique position in that they have amassed data from travelers, hotels, airlines, and travel players, and they're keen to make use of it. AI and machine learning are at the heart of these market-changing products. We also think that within three years, over 50% of, of our customers will touch AI somewhere uh, within booking. AI brings travel apps massive success. And with the world's most influential tech companies operating in the OTA space, we'll keep seeing the industry innovate. Tell us if you were aware of any of these AI features employed by OTAs and if there's anything we've missed. See you in the next video.